Hey everyone, welcome back to Overtly Mocking Games. This is Michael T. Bradley. And J. Wilford Neville. And we are very, very, very close to the end of Gabriel Knight's Sins of the Fathers, Part 1. Or, well, Gabriel Knight, Part 1, Sins of the Fathers. I guess it's not like they're all called Sins of the Fathers. <laughs> we, uh, we have learned some stuff about our father, I guess, kind of, at least our family line. And we are now randomly in Germany reading books. I think we're done with the books, but we might launch into another hour-long conversation, and that's just how this game ends. Actually, I think we're going to sit down with, uh, what's her name, Gerda here? Yeah. And we're going to peel potatoes for like <laughs> 40 minutes, and then gonna we're going to knit a gonna, sweater for her tortoise. It's going to be a mini, mini game inside the game is the potato peeling, and, and uh, through it, Gabriel will learn what it means to be a man. <laughs> Okay. All right, let's go ahead and jump right in. What do you say? Let's do it. Guten Morgen, Herr Knight. I'm cooking a Frühstück, a good German breakfast. Please, be like home. A good German breakfast. Which I got is my fruit stuck in it. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> which is apparently potatoes, just like dinner. <laughs> <laughs> we have fruit stuck for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So, what do you breakfast, do when you're not lunch lunch and around dinner. the castle? Every day I go to Riddersburg to do the daily shopping and uh, visit my friends. Uh, hi, friends. <laughs> Can I ask you a few questions? The potatoes aren't yeah, my only friends. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't know anything about this key I found in Wolfgang's bedroom now, would you? Oh, did you get that dream key, key? too? Why, no, <laughs> Ken, I, I cannot say that I do. Everyone who stays there gets a dream key. Not me, though. That's fine. <laughs> Are you the gatekeeper? <laughs> nice. Use the key on her. I'm kind of amazed that we... Uh, yeah, maybe it fits in her chastity belt. I'm kind of amazed that we made it this far without a Ghostbusters reference. <laughs> that is pretty shocking. <laughs> Then I shall make you a plane trip right now, yeah? She's gonna make well, one? <laughs> She's gonna make so. us a plane trip. I, I will make it out of the potato peels. I thought she was gonna make you us into a plane, plane trip. Yeah. There's really more an idea than a thing. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. We can use this credit card. Why not? My friend is dead. <laughs> I will go make the call. Then, while we wait, breakfast. Does that mean I get some coffee now? Uh, we have potato coffee. Wow, she's <laughs> zooming down that street. I know. Road. Wow. That's, <laughs> that car is amazingly sure-footed. Das Neun. Das Neun. <laughs> and then the wheel went round and round. I could not find my way. Twelve and three and turn the key. I heard the madman say. I heard the madman say. <laughs> <laughs> it was almost daisy there, but not quite. Oh, here's... Gerd is still driving that car. Where the hell are we? Is this the Serengeti or some shit? I guess. Yeah, I think we're <laughs> in, I think we're in Africa now. Wheel, wheel. It looks just like my rectum. You want to stay here, right? <clears throat> the long walk back to the city. Rectum, I nearly killed him. Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, maybe a while. First you're a plane trip, now no you're problem. a while. What the hell, my <laughs> Then off screen a tiger attacks. Beats the Jeep driver. Oh, we're in Benin. Oh yeah. Nana narrator is really faint. Yeah. <laughs> well, because she's all the way back in the US. <laughs> this um this part of the game is going to be really racist, isn't it? <laughs> if we don't meet anyone, it might not be. <laughs> the music is already pushing it. <laughs> A little. I was going to say, it's very, it's very upbeat. Uh, trying to look on the bright side here. So, Ford, if, if you die, is it cool if I use your credit card to like go to Benin? <laughs> what do I care? The Why is there a light switch in this ancient cave? <laughs> oh, and they've got one of those little mirrors with the like sunburst border around it, like you get at Pier 1. Mm. I thought maybe it was a... Uh, oh god, who's it? Ethan something clock? Ethan Frome? No, the... 
<laughs> Shit, what are those clocks? I never noticed they had a name until... Maybe it's, it's Seth something. Is never noticed they had a name until Stephen King named it. Oh, it's oh, not a light put, switch, it's a snake put, switch. Insert put dick, snake here. Put your dick in there, man. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Glory holes of the fathers. This stone looks interesting. <laughs> oh, I'll just take it. Wait it. Oh my god, Gabriel. That's like... That's a different meaning entirely for white appropriation. Right? Did you learn nothing from Indiana Jones? Oh, look, there's another glory hole. Mommy this one's not subtle in its labeling. Glory poses up here to be the only residents here. Gabriel Wonder. Uh, okay. Wonders what? We, we accidentally clicked, Paris accidentally clicked off of that hole. Then. Oh. Into the wall in this room. If you want a snake job, put it here. <laughs> Who doesn't love a good snake job? <laughs> it's my favorite thing, Parazine, just like clicking through those, like, where the hell is the goddamn foot? <laughs> we're just picking up, we're picking up wood with hole or stone with holes in them. We yep. The oh, we cutting down a narrator off again. Seems like Parazine's getting kind of impatient. <laughs> It shaped a little like a it small looked like a sticks bone. are jackass. <laughs> <laughs> we're just gonna go ahead and rob everything in this tomb. <laughs> Suddenly we're Lara Croft. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Better grab it. What are we? I mean, like, are we gonna play Jenga at the last room? What the hell? I don't know. And every single one of these rooms is has the exact same uh, cave wall paintings in yeah. it. Yeah. Shadow flickers. Maybe if we aren't fast enough, we get eaten by a giant snake or something. Do, 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 this do. this is our lives now. <laughs> An itch stone is on yeah, we know. Wall. Pick it up. Yeah, whatever. Snakes, take it. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. It's stuck. Guess oh. I better put my dick in it. <laughs> it's a shove that bone snake into it? No, <laughs> fuck that one. I don't want to put effort into tomb robbing. <laughs> is there is there a guy kneeling toward us on the left there? I, I think it's a dead body. Or a mummy. Maybe it's got a credit card. Grab it, Gabriel. <laughs> Go to Prague. Make a fucking summer out of it. We have like 20 of these by now. What I know. are we doing here? Where is he even putting them? <laughs> I get he's actually not wearing his trench coat. Benin must be even hotter than New Orleans in the winter or summer. A shadow flickers in the corner. Maybe this is like eyes. a glitch and it, this is like Gabriel Knight, Groundhog Days of our fathers. <laughs> and it's just the same room over and over again. I, I don't understand what would, like, uh, be the catalyst for the player to think, yeah, I should just grave rob here. Yeah. I don't know. I think in most of these games, at least when I've played games like this, I basically just pick up everything that I can pick up. True enough. Are these all different Veves, I guess? I don't know. Hey, Veve, how you doing? <laughs> Uh, Nobody puts Veve in a corner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and now we gotta pick one to put here? Why? It fits. Well, God, I would hope so. It's exactly the same as every other goddamn one. Why did we put that one there? And how did we wind up back where we are? We are inside a circle, so that part oh, makes sense. Okay. Even though the rooms are not really, I guess it's a big circle, we wouldn't see the curve from our perspective. Right. How. How does he know? How does how does Parisine know which one to put here? Uh, that's a good damn question. Oh, I wonder, maybe, okay, so these rooms are all the same. I wonder if in that room that we were in last, the one that's different, I wonder if it tells us the order of them. Hmm, maybe. But, oh my god. You would have to, like, and the way that you know where the start is, is that one that wouldn't move. Ah, uh. But holy shit, would that drive me crazy. Right, it but fits. like, if we're going to solve a puzzle in a playthrough, a he should at least show us where he gets the information for the puzzle. 
If it is that one room, then I mean, I guess he's there. What's he supposed to do? Like, circle, circle, circle the thing? I mean. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> or, like, put one in the wrong place so we see what happens or something. We, I didn't mm. even understand we were solving a puzzle, so I wasn't looking for a solution to it's it. It's all a puzzle. <sighs> all the world's a puzzle, and the men and women merely little stone plates with holes in the middle. <laughs> That's right. I like how those drums are kind of hesitant. Like, sh should should I even be playing? I don't know. Is this a suspenseful or? Uh, mm, mm. Yeah. So that's the one that's stuck in there. So we're like halfway through now. Yay! <laughs> uh, there's a damn snake or whatever. Okay. <laughs> Gabriel has the creep. Yeah, we don't. Gabriel care. has the creep. He regrets his college days. It kind of looks like we're seeing, <laughs> like, like, right where Gabriel's in front of him now, it's like the thing's rectum. From Fantastic Four, you know? <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Almost okay. done. We are nearly there. Oh my god. This isn't repetitive <laughs> and annoying at all. Can you imagine? I know. Having to try to figure this out on your own? It's boring enough watching Parazine do it. Yeah, yeah. And he knows exactly where to go with each and every one. This is probably like four hours of gameplay. If you're doing this by yourself. This is going to be all... Oh. <laughs> this is all DOS 9 here. He almost grabbed the snake skin for From a second there. The mound, echoes a sound like the scuffle of a shoe. Oh, maybe somebody's getting ready to do some skiffle. I think somebody's doing some soft shoe over in that room with the uh, majestic glory hole. Yeah, this one. Nope, see, this one, I don't see a... I don't see, like, a Rosetta Stone here, either. Ooh. Whoa. The rod fits into the hole You in the know it does. Nothing happens. Oh, we gotta re go redo them. <laughs> Oh, do we have yes. to poke Gabriel every one of those the things? Sensation he's being watched. Maybe we messed one up. I don't think so, though, since we got a... Yeah. A shadow flickers in the corner of Gabriel's eye. From somewhere off... Oh, maybe... Is out, that the one that was stuck in place? Hit. Yeah, or I think so. Wow. We don't have a goddamn clue what's going on here. No. Uh oh. I had a feeling that. If you didn't think it was gonna do something, why the fuck did you do it? Oh yeah, zombies. That's what this game was missing. <laughs> Luckily, they just move slowly, and we just walk away from them. Uh oh. Hey, zombie over here. <laughs> I got a credit card for oh, you. Oh, I think <laughs> I think the Blair Witch got him. Uh oh, three zombies. I can't believe I'm doing. Whoa! Oh. Really? What the oh. hell? Oh, it's Uncle Ritter. Gabriel Knight, I presume. It's just huh? e <laughs> either that or it's like zombie Mozart. <laughs> In person. Now go to it, boy. I can't hold these creatures for very long, and there are more on the way. Go to what? The secret panel, boy! Those creatures are only alive while it's open! Close it, Gabriel, and hurry! I think I found something. It's that same thing that I used before. <laughs> now stand back. Whoa. <laughs> Holy shit, Uncle This is a nimble motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> also, he can, like, speed up time. Like, why was he bothering with the zombies that way? Wow. The inner wheel. Now let's go place some yes. plates in here. Wheel <laughs> within a wheel. I need my nitroglycerin pills. You don't look so hot. I'm fine, Gabriel. The wheel. You attempted? I'm always dreaming yeah. about wheels and, and snakes. I don't know. 
<laughs> I, I think there might be yes. some kind of symbolism there. I must congratulate you on the three snakes connection. I had missed it. You if you me. missed it, how the hell are you here? Who? Me? Yes. <laughs> It is a long Why is he acting so shocked? He randomly, of his own volition, went through the entire induction quest. ceremony. What did you see? What is here? You have found the heart of the apple, but it might be poisonous still. Are, are we talking about Gerda there? I, 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 I didn't I'm know. not sure I understand. <laughs> a mummy lies on the floor. These are mummies, not zombies. Oh. I get those confused. Yeah, it's really obvious road. because they look like skinless corpses. This is oh. the inner wheel of the snake mound. Though similar in appearance to the outer wheel, there's a sense of Ooh, evil sanctity, evil sanctity and, and secrecy. About this room. Yeah, that's, that's the axe body spray I use. <laughs> I'm, I'm stuck to the wall, Gabriel. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can slide along it, though. I'm gonna go for a swing. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Look at that table. Did we just get a ding, 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 ding for looking at something? Yes. Yeah. It is very old. There is a story being told through the carving on the side. Can you make it? It out? says something about a rural farmer who has three daughters and a guy vox past. He manages after much time to find the secret entrance to the inner wheel. I just in all these room, snakes in the secret entrance to the inner wheel. I mean, is this meant to be as dirty as it seems? Like <laughs> that explains the source of the Getty's tribal power. They found this mound and the idol in it. Yeah, the I don't even remember an idol at this point. It is definitely older than the Gettys. I, I think the, the idol is supposed to be here. I don't think we've seen it. Table. They will have it with them now. It must be destroyed. Anyway, bye. <laughs> Any ancient artifacts we find must be destroyed the to eliminate that evil power. On the base. At the seams, there are two large holes on either side. On top of the lid is a trough. If we just have like What's a giant regular this screwdriver. This is undoubtedly a sacrificial table. That trough is for. What? Uh, you're mumbling. Ew, they are sick. <laughs> so what, they put the person on there on their back and then they just punch their chest so <laughs> hard that the heart goes through? What about these iron balls? Oh, that's Good not idea. a swing hanging Let over there. Hmm. I, I love how he's like we're at the art of we're at the sacrificial chamber. What does this thing do? Let me just throw <laughs> it around. These holes. Damn. Now we turn the table. Is that righty tighty left to loose? I I assume we're going to be lifting the table off, and these really heavy bars are for making it possible to lift the table. Damn. Go back to the corner, Uncle Wolfgang. <laughs> now we can have guests over. <laughs> it's nice to finally have someone around who knows what the hell's going on. I know. I know. Did you bang that Gracie, by the way? <laughs> can we talk? <laughs> can we talk? Yes, sir. What do you know about snakes? <laughs> Tell me about yourself. Oh dear God! This We're gonna hang out in this. Place. Okay, thank you, thank you, sorry, Wolfgang, for not you being a jackass. My life has not been all that instructive. Ask him again. Just tell me anything at all. Is there anything else you can tell me about the talisman? I thought it was an item. The most important thing about the talisman is that it be once oh, no, again in thing. the hands of the shepherd. Right. This is the thing that that gives. The shot in the acre to their power. We can't be used for offensive purposes, so we have to get it so we can destroy something. <laughs> Which seems very offensive. Let's try to lift this top. Let's just take our tops off. <laughs> Speaking of lifting the top off, Grace is a great girl. I know it's in there. 
I have to tell this powerful sense. Well, ever. Why won't the damn lid come off? <laughs> Maybe if I write a drum on it. It can probably only be triggered by the proper use of that trough there. With a heart. Well. Oh, great. Where are we going to get a or heart? Or brain. Or, uh, you must take a way back to Kansas. You performed the ritual and dreamt of the dragon, no? Yes, I did. But you're the current shot in Jaeger. I only did that because... Gabriel gonna have to murder Wolfgang here? Driven to it. I have been um, passing this title for so. many years. Even in my prime, I had few cases. If my life had a purpose... It was to bring you it gesticulates to wildly, but even I while pausing. no idea what I'm doing. This is not a science, Gabriel. It is instinct. And you have it's it like in your plan. he keeps reaching into his Trust pants it. and then pulling right back the out. It's <laughs> yours now. It has many documents and records which He's playing with an invisible yo-yo. Well, thanks for the confidence. <laughs> but what about this table? I want you to go into the next room and get the heart from that dead creature on the floor. Will that poor? Doesn't it need to be fresh? Let us try. Perhaps there's some of the old rhythm. Okay, so while we're gone, he's gonna like Go just commit seppuku and <laughs> cut his own heart out and throw it on the table. <laughs> I'm like, even if this plan has a chance of working, how do you do that? <laughs> I'm gonna say, let's get, use an instrument for this. Yeah, let's get the tweezers. Go. I thought we'd use the bone stick. Right. My first job was shot in Jaeger. Cutting up dead monsters. I think your first job was shot in Jaeger was, uh... Oh, that's him hearing Wolfgang cutting out his own... What the hell? Wolfgang! No! That was the least convincing line. <laughs> Wolfgang. No! What? <laughs> How did. It's Holy still shit, he did it! You hate for this. You bitch! You just met that guy. Why did he you go to literally ask just met that guy. <laughs> Though, admittedly, he's my favorite no, character okay. in the game by far. Uncle anxious. Wolfgang? Yeah. No, they haven't. I just need to talk to Gabriel. Ooh. Ooh. We got all 3D. Oh, maybe we had a nap while we were in the... DOS, DOS 17! Oh, deep in the earth I faced a fight that I could never win. The blameless and the base destroyed and all that might have been. Gabriel Knight. Gabriel Knight. <laughs> so he wrote little poems about this after he survived? <laughs> after arranging for a shipment of Wolfgang's body back to the desert, Gabriel returns to Norris. What did they find How under the table? The the Schottenjäger talisman, the magic talisman that gives the Schottenjägers their strength. And he could not reach Maria by phone. And although he has some idea of what he's coming home to attempt, he still has no clue where to attempt it. Oh my god. Or does he? Or does he? I I don't know. Okay, let's uh I think that's a good point to <laughs> <laughs> Call it a day here when we come back. The final episode, the final countdown, da -da 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 -da. And, we'll, uh, and we'll see. Uh, we'll see where the hell all this is going, or will we? Or will we? Until then, this is Michael T. Bradley and Jay Wilford Neville, and we are.